What's up, y'all? Well, well. I haven't had a customer in a while. Last one I had was a bit chewy. Know what I mean? I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? Do I look like a fucking babysitter? I don't know where he is. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you anyway. I'm gonna kick your ass all over this metro station if you don't help me. Finally. Someone with some balls around this place. Here's the password to that little pipsqueak's room. Why don't you go knock some sense into him? <laughs> Anything else you can tell me on Ian West? Ian, Ian, Ian. Is that all you've got to say? Sheesh. Fine. Fuck you. Say it ain't so. I should just shoot the shit out of him. By the way, in case you guys haven't noticed or you're wondering, people are like, Dan, are you doing, are you going to be a nice guy? Are you going to be an asshole? I'm actually not sure. I'm like going to combine the two. I am actually answering or responding to something how I would respond to it. We're changing it up a bit. I'm genuinely a nice guy, but when someone pisses me off, I'm going to fuck them over. So you're going to see a bit of a split decision. So I think it might be cool. I thought I knew everyone in the family, but I don't recognize you. You must be one of Vance's new initiates. My name's Justin. I'm pretty new here myself. Looking for Ian West. Ian? What do you want from him? He's talked to someone from the outside to get perspective. It's outsiders' perspectives that drove him here in the first place. Sorry. I can't really help you. He needed a, he's needed at home. His family's dead. Yes, I know. He told me. He probably did it. Surprised. Well, he did Ian do it, didn't he? When it happened and did nothing to stop it. If you ask yourself why, the answer is obvious. He belongs with us here. He's one of us. Don't deny him his rightful home. Anything else you can tell me? No, just that Vance said he isn't to be disturbed while he's in meditation. Okay, I have to go. You got the cash, I got the time. Do you? Well, well, I'm surprised you don't know me. I'm Brianna. I take care of the men around here. Well, unmarried ones, anyway. Looking for Ian West, have you seen him? Vance has him in meditation right now. No one's supposed to be in there. Poor kid. He looks like he could use another friend. I could be his friend. Well, that is sweet. But Vance would kick my rather gorgeous ass right out of here if I told you how to find Ian. Sorry. Fine. Bye, sweetie. Hello there, stranger. I don't think I've met you yet. The name's Alan. What did you want? Look for Ian West. Have you seen him? I don't have any authority here. I'm pretty new myself. Justin's been trying to talk to Ian, make him feel better. Maybe you should speak to him. I did. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Holly, Vance's wife. Look for Ian. I'm afraid Vance has him in isolation, and there's no way I'm going to override Vance's orders. He's a good kid. I think Vance will set him along the correct path soon. Like he did for all of us. Or maybe it's just messing him up more. You don't think he's already messed up? Come on, don't kid yourself. We pulled him out of that shithole town just in time. Anything else you can tell me about him? Like I said, he's in isolation. It's his time to meditate and reflect. Okay. I have to go. It was good talking to you. Where the fuck is Vance, anyway? How's it hanging? How's life treating you? Okay, Great, I actually. guess. I finished my the first guy's taking up most of my time. But I think he'll come to get the no one's got long hair in this bitch. I like girls with long hair. Take some water, look through the... Oh, this is all Carl shit. I wouldn't feel that bad stealing from Carl. He's a fucking asshole. Hello again. How'd you get up here so fast? Here's Vance. Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? This place is very different from any of the other settlements I've seen. 
What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. Allow him to continue. We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. See if we can get it by him. None of this talk is necessary. I know exactly who you are. I am afraid that the knowledge required to appreciate our true nature is far above your level of comprehension. So your way, so you're reforming these people. Ah, your words illustrate why the hardships persist for my people. Reforming implies something is wrong with them and needs to be eliminated. I think of my teachings as more of an improvement, a way to transcend our cannibalistic nature. If I accept that you're no longer cannibals, what do I call you? Cannibal by any other name is still cannibal. That is completely untrue. Your difficulty grasping the concept that change is possible in my people perplexes me. Let me try a different approach. Let me counter that ignorance with a lesson in objectivity. I say we are no longer cannibal, only consuming the blood of our prey. What would that make us in your eyes? Fucking vampires. I have no idea. Then that is a mystery you will have to solve on your own. In ceremony, each member of the family must speak one of the laws. It is theirs to remember and to enforce. Perhaps from these laws you can discover what we are. Return to me when you are ready. You wish to speak to me again? I've been searching for a young man named Ian West. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? I have a letter for him from his sister. Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. What happened to him? Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. Are you telling me Ian's a cannibal? I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. You must let me speak to him. No, it would not be right to disturb him in this time of meditation. I am sorry, but I cannot allow it. You wish to speak to me again? Please allow me to speak to Ian. I believe I was very... So are you ready to explain to me what you people are? No. I can see it in your eyes. You do not... Fine. You are free to roll. I want to speak to fucking Ian. Maybe I'm going to save it now. And we'll go... Hello? That's a nice bed. Someone be living large.
I think he's in here. Ian! Get your bitch ass out here! Oh. Wake up. Huh? How'd you. Huh? What do you want? I've been looking for you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. Sorry, Ian, but your parents are dead. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? You seem awfully troubled, Ian. What did you do? I killed them. My own parents. It was the fucking hunger. That thing that's haunted me my entire life. You must think I'm some sort of monster. Look, Ian, I know loss too. I know it hurts, but staying here isn't the answer. There's something inside me. Something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? Read this letter, Ian. Lucy wrote it. I'll be I bet it will change your mind. She, she really misses being home, and she's asked about me in here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. Sweet. After he goes back to sleep. That was pretty easy. I'm gonna close it, make it seem like I wasn't even here. He's gonna be like, BUT I SAID NO! Well, and I have one thing to say to you. Bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks and Vance, you are a fucking You're dirty bitch. For these people. If it wasn't for you, they'd be living in the waste. What you need? I'm interrupting you. It was good. It appears we have a lot to speak about. No. What you need? Each of us is required to speak one of the laws when we hold our ceremonies. I say the first law. Feast not on the flesh, consume only the blood. This is our strength. Okay. It was good to... I hear that you decided to speak to Ian regardless of my warnings. Be that as it may, I am still interested in what you conversed about. Did he come to a decision? Before we talk about Ethan, there's still a matter of our food to discuss. As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. There must be an alternative source to the blood you can survive on. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem with your idea is that these blood packs are scarce. What do you propose? Our food donates blood pack, and you leave them alone. Our food donates blood packs, exchange you protect them. Um, damn. Let's try that. Agreed. Please take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them, and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. This is the peaceful now, solution. What of young Ian? Tell me his decision. He's decided to leave the family. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather 
educational. Aha, he gave me schematics for the shish kebab. Well, that was rather cool. I beasted and feasted, son. Oh, looks like Ian did that too. So they just needed to be, I, like, I remember the first time I played this, I think I murdered the whole lot. <laughs> I can't remember. Or one of the times I did, I know that. Oops. Right, I'm still technically inside the, uh, their crib. Shut up, President. Where'd that guy go? He could be sleeping. But it, that, that would mean he's not a very good watch. When you sleep... You're supposed to... Um... Oh. You're supposed to, um... Have someone else on guard while you sleep. It's common, common, you know, common sense. At least from what I thought. I remember I ended up doing this mission somewhere towards the end of my game, ironically. I think it's because I didn't really explore this part of town or talk to very many. I think I stumbled across it. But I didn't get the letter from Lucy. I didn't talk to many people. I don't remember. It's been a while. Almost at level three. Taking a while to get there, but... The more side objectives you do, the more monies you'll get. Look at that babe on the beach pose. There you go. Before anything happens... I hear some people talking, so. <laughs> Look at that 50s family bowling. Oh, I'm hurt. I forgot about that. You're just walking with that pimp walk. The hero of the day. It's done, Evan. The family will never bother Arafu again. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. I have a proposal from you, Vance, the family's leader. From you, f for you, from Vance. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. All right. Any help you can provide would be appreciated. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Hey. Sorry. Come on back soon. Cool. Leveling up. Okay, so I have 16 more points to activate. I think I might do into repair. 25 repair. My science is pretty damn high. Um... I can bring that up even higher. Maybe 35. Mm. 
medicine. Maybe bring that up to 35. I have three to spend. Maybe up my small guns even more. Or... I'm not getting energy weapons yet. Um, I mean, eventually I will have to upgrade them all, but... I think maybe we'll do this. Up that a little bit. There we go. And then we get to pick the perks. Each rank in the Swift Learner perk, you gain an additional 10% to total experience. Which is really good. Wasn't the level cap only at 20 before, and then they upped it to 30 with that DLC? That was pretty small, all things considered. Thir like, level 20? Like, really? I'm wondering if I should do Lady Killer. I've never taken that. Little League or Melee. I can do more Swift Learner. I don't know. Maybe Gun Nut. Additional five points. The small guns and repair skills. So that would add things by five points points and add into my special maybe I'll do that down the road a bit I don't know I, I won't be doing that I'm, I'm not well you get explosives too but I don't use melees enough that seems like a good idea. But I kind of want to do that. 10% increase every time. You'd level up faster this way. Ah, uh, we'll do this. I'm over encumbered. Uh-oh. Okay. I up my repair skills, so maybe I can get some things repaired. Because I've taken stuff that I don't need. Let me see. Yeah, certain things I can't repair to full strength yet. These are kind of pointless. So to max them up, you need, like, higher repairs. Fair enough. Still not high enough there. Not high enough there. I'm good now. But keep in mind, I'm also quite hurt. So I'm going to go back with Ian's family and take a nap on his couch. Or sleep with his dead parents. That's really messed up. Ian King's got a massive house. <coughs> oh, Ian, I hope you don't mind. It's three, so we'll sleep for six hours. Get some well restness. There we go. We feel great. But I have to go talk to Buddy about his proposal. Maybe he'll give me something. Hold on, I'll go back to the Moresti train yard. Just to see, you know. Wait a minute. Oh my sweet fucking god. Oh my god, they were in! <laughs> See ya! <laughs> there were there were douchebags here the entire time. I knew I heard something. It's a good thing I took off when I did. 
I don't really have any other weapons either. Nothing crazy good. Any 